Okay, this is a demonstration of the UI camera's external trigger harness using an Arduino-like device called the Tiny Lily. Okay, so here we have three UI USB cameras, the model UI 1246LE version. Um, there's a, the center camera has a fisheye lens, the other two have normal lenses. On the back PCB we have attached pin headers um, to each of the 2x5 uh, digital input output pins headers of the, of the cameras. All right. Uh, these cameras are seen here connected to a harness uh, which are then integrated into um, this Arduino-like device called the Tiny Lily Nano uh, in conjunction with its USB adapter board. So the Tiny Lily Nano is a Arduino-like device that is the size of a, of a dime and the USB adapter allows it to be programmed through the FTDI chip on board. Okay. So uh, the purpose of the UI cam Arduino harness is to allow these cameras to capture images at a synchronized. Uh, so manner. we're going to start by running the UI cam ROS node, which is a wrapper uh, for the. UI camera drivers, right? Here we're running Ubuntu 12.04 and I've created a particular launch file called Master Slaves RGB8 which allows us to grab images synchronously from the three cameras. Here we see the Masters um, dynamic reconfigure window and the external trigger mode is set to off and if we go to slave 1 external trigger is set to on if we go to slave 2 the external trigger is set to on good so now if I start capturing from uh, the master uh, I'm gonna get the 10 Hertz that re I requested and if I now ask it to capture from the slave 1, it's also going to give me 10 hertz. And slave 2, it's going to give me 10 hertz too. So let's actually save some of these screenshots. Uh, so I'm going to use Rosbag to do that while the three cameras here are looking at a uh, ticker app, right? So now we have gathered sufficient amount of images, let's use RX bag to look at the whoop, RX bag to look at the corresponding recordings. So first, you can see here that um, they are more or less synchronized. So there's slight, there's slight uh, shifts in timing, uh, but this part of this is due to Ross actually publishing the images uh, at slightly different times. Right. Let's actually look at the contents of these images. Here we have, we can see that the, there is minimal visual uh, discrepancies between the three images being grabbed as I advance the cursor to different frames. Right. So here I'm going to select the next frame, right, and then the next frames, and then the next frames. So at here we can we can see that at 10 hertz, um, these three cameras are synchronized, um, at least to accuracy of the refresh rate of my monitor. This UI cam external harness is also able to uh, operate in a different mode, um, in which the cameras are all put into slaves or external trigger mode and then the Arduino like device the tiny lily will generate a pulse uh, with the user specified rate and duration of the high pulse width all right so let's take a quick look at that here we're looking at the dynamic reconfigure window of the master uh, camera node I'm going to now check the external trigger checkbox therefore making it into external trigger mode 
Uh, in the Arduino um, serial API, we currently see that it's in active high, not master slave mode, meaning that it requires a master uh, camera, a camera that's running in free run mode to be able to generate the signal and this the, uh, this Arduino will then act as a NAND gate to then bypass or to, to then pass through the signal to the external trigger slave cameras. Alright, so in this mode we're gonna set, uh, you know, recall that we no longer have any uh, free run mode cameras, they are all in external trigger mode. Let's look at Slave 1 is external trigger, Slave 2 is external trigger, and the master is external trigger. Okay, so here if I start trying to grab images from the master, the slaves, um, right, we're going to get a whole bunch of timeouts because um, the system is incapable, uh, there's no external trigger. And now we're going to uh, tell the Arduino to actually change its mode. So M2 sets the mode to active low, manual trigger slaves. If we look at the, uh, you know, what the signal is generating, it's actually generating a pulse at the desired um, rate and uh, duration um, that we require it. And uh, this can be specified through the commands uh, through the Arduino serial API. So you can type R and then a number or D and a number to change the rate and the durations correspondingly. So now we're grabbing images at 15 hertz because uh, I set the duration to 66 milliseconds or 1000 divided by 66 is approximately 15 hertz. Um, and if I try to record some of these images, let's grab a 10 second uh, chunk. In the uh, end slaves mode, uh, where the Arduino acts as a trigger, there seems to be occasions where some of the frames, uh, each camera may drop a particular frame. Um, so here all three cameras dropped, here all three cameras dropped, and then the third camera dropped uh, one more frame. Uh, it depend this will depend on the bus and and this and a number of other factors because now all three cameras are being triggered exactly in the same way uh, via the same signal uh, they will be ensured to be uh, you know synchronized uh, once again here I can demonstrate that it's synchronized at 15 hertz uh, up to a resolution of the refresh rate of my laptop. So this concludes the demonstration of the UI camera external triggering harness. Uh, using this Tiny Lily Arduino compatible device, we're able to set any of the particular three cameras or the end cameras um, to free run mode and that will trigger any of the other cameras setting external uh, trigger mode and also this solution uh, works even if some of the cameras uh, are not actually exposing uh, or rather are not their drivers are not running so as long as the Arduino device gets its power from the camera that is connected um, then the solution should work uh, regardless of the number of cameras active and the number of masters and slaves. Typically you want either one master and the N minus one slaves or N slaves and then set the Arduino to the, core, uh, to the proper mode. Alright, thank you.